So today is a long awaited day here on our farm, but I gotta admit, I'm not excited for today. You see what's gonna happen today is Kurt Cobain, our lone steer on the farm, is gonna be heading off to the slaughterhouse to turn into a whole package of beef. Hey, wait, I gotta and yes, I'm gonna admit, it'll be sad to see Kurt go. He's been a very good animal here on our farm, but his time has come. You see, we raise cattle here on our farm for beef. And the way it works is we breed the mother cows, they have babies, the female babies get added to our herd to help our farm grow, and the male babies end up getting castrated and becoming steers like Kurt, where they will too eventually go off to the butcher. Now Kurt though is most definitely not born on our farm. He arrived on our farm last year. He's grown a bit since he's arrived here. It also took me nearly a full year to actually get a date on the calendar with my butcher to send him off. You see, because I wanna be able to sell my product and wanna be able to ship my product, and I might be doing that across state lines, that means that the meat needs to be butchered at a USDA processed facility. I know, Kurt, you don't really like going there. You know, in a perfect world, I would actually love to have a place here on the farm where I could do the slaughter of my animals humanely right here on farm. But unfortunately, the government rules are the government rules and I gotta play by them. So that means I need to take Kurt from the pasture up here and send him down this alleyway that I've created. This alleyway is gonna help me guide Kurt to where he ultimately needs to go. And the place that he ultimately needs to go is down here, over to this area where my Wintel cattle yard is gonna be, and down through here. And later today, my neighbor Don is gonna come over down to that end with his livestock trailer. And he and I are gonna load Kurt into the trailer so we can take him away. Now I will admit, I'm a bit nervous. I actually have to do this uh, alone, solo today, so I don't have any help. But at the same time, I feel like I've thought the movement plan through. And over the course of this last year, I've spent so so much time working with my cattle that I feel pretty good to moving them when I need to move them. The tricky part with this move is gonna be I don't wanna move all of my cattle and really I need to separate Kurt off and if it works out right, ideally I'll separate him off with one friend. And if I had to guess which friend it's gonna be, I think it's gonna either be Jimi Hendrix, who is our young bull calf, who really seems to be close to Kurt, or it's gonna be Audrey One, who's Jimi Hendrix's mother. You know, Kurt is the most dominant animal in our fold, but Audrey One is the most dominant cow and so, you know, she's like boss cow. My guess is gonna be one of them, or maybe I do both of them, but I don't wanna get my whole herd down there. And so there's also a chance I might have to have Kurt sit solo for a couple of hours before Don gets here, just in case. I don't wanna jeopardize having the whole herd break loose or having a problem trying to separate them down there versus just moving them down here. Buckle up, because this one's gonna be interesting. Now, Abby Dog, you are a good dog, but you're a chaotic good dog. And because of that fact, Abby, I think I'm gonna have to lock you up today. Come on, Abby. Good girl, sweetie. Good girl. It's only gonna be for a half hour or so. Now, Toby Dog, can you behave and mind the birds while I do this? Be really helpful, buddy. All right, buckle up, everyone, because this is gonna get interesting. Now, the only real tools I'm gonna be using other than fencing to herd the cattle are, number one, I have this herding stick cam. So this camera will be used as a tool to help herd. I don't ever hit my animals with them, but sometimes they might need like a little good poke. But then more importantly, other than the stick, I've got the carrot, and specifically the carrot are these alfalfa cubes, which the cattle love to eat. Kurt Cobain in particular is a big, big fan of the alfalfa cubes. Hey, Kels! Come on, Kels! Fresh grass, come on! Hey, Kels! Come on, Kels! Hey, Kels, come on! Now for starters, I'm actually just gonna open this up and let them do what they wanna do before I try to move them too aggressively. They're already trained to move when the fences are open. That's a win right there. I think this just got easier than I thought it was gonna be. Kurt and Audrey were the first to bolt out. I just locked the other cattle up there. And now I just gotta get them into the area that they need to go in. The other cattle aren't happy though about the fact that Kurt and Audrey are gone. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. Hey guys, glad you were so happy to move so quickly. Uh-oh. Looks like I had a little bust through. Hey Kurt, Kurt, who wants that? Snacks. Snacks. Come on, Kurt. Come on, buddy. Hey Kurt, come on. Kurt, come on. Come on, Kurt. Come on, Kurt. Kurt, there's plenty more. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, Kurt. Come on, Kurt. 
Come on, Kurt. Come on. Sorry you're left out here, Audrey. Kurt is going to Grassland Valhalla. Toby, come. How the heck did Toby get down here? I must have missed that. I was so focused on the cattle. Toby, come on. Come on, Tobes. Let's go. Come on, kid. What are you doing down here? Come on. <laughs> I didn't expect to have behavior problems with you, kid. Come on. All right, now most of that moved smoothly, but I do have an issue of a couple cattle that escaped. They are not happy that they're separated. Better go up there. Try to get everybody back up here. Come on, Audrey. Come on, Audrey. Come on, Ann. Let's go, come on. Come on, guys. I think what I'm gonna do is open this up, let the other cattle come down, because they are riled up. I don't like that one bit. I got it, Jimmy, I got it, you're upset. Hey, cows, come on, cows. Hey, cows, come on, cows. Fresh grass, come on. Now, you two are just living it up over here. Belinda Carlisle, how'd you end up on that side? I'm gonna try to see if I can get both of you back up there. Now, Toby Dog, how did you end up getting over here, man? <laughs> I don't understand that in the least bit. All right, let's see if we can move these two back up the hill. Uh, see, like I said, Audrey's the boss cow. See her boss and Ann around? Come on, Audrey, let's go, up the hill. Can you go up the hill for me, girl? Come on. I'm not too worried about Belinda Carlisle. She'll follow her mom wherever she goes. Come on, back up the hill, guys. Back up the hill, there we go, good girls. Come on, Annie. Up the hill, up the hill. Come on, both of you, let's go. Good job. That's what we like to see. Hey. Okay, is everybody, everybody's back to normal. All right, we got Belinda back there. We got Jimi Hendrix back with his mom, Audrey won. We got Joey and Bonnie hanging out. We got Ariel and Annabelle hanging out. Okay. Wow. I know guys, I miss Kurt Cobain too. Now you have plenty of grass here for a bit. So I want you to hang out and chill out and I'm gonna go check on Kurt, okay? You guys hang out, stay where you are. I genuinely hope they haven't gotten too riled up. I'm just gonna give them some time to chill out. Me and Toby being there almost as like a exciting presence for them. So we don't want that. You hear that? You know, I'm gonna admit, this might be one of the toughest parts about raising beef cattle, particularly when you fall in love with your beef cattle. Now I know there's gonna be folks in the comments who are like, you should have never named an animal that you're gonna bring to slaughter. And I will say I respectfully disagree with that point. I still feel very good about that choice. Treating Kurt with respect and giving him a good life and treating him like the animal that he is and even giving him a name like any other animal on our farm, I feel like that's an important part of the experience. And speaking of Kurt, let's see how he's doing. Hey, Kurt, buddy. I gotta say, <laughs> you seem pretty content. You have so much grass here, my friend. I can tell you're excited. Well, eat it all till your heart's content. You got a couple hours here, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. I will admit, I'm not sure if the ladies are upset because Kurt Cobain's not here or they didn't go to fresh pasture. I'm gonna offer them a little surprise to make up for not moving. Well, yeah, I think I have my answer now. I guess if I were to do this over again, I would have given them fresh grass because fresh grass is one of the things the cattle care the most about and I didn't give it to them. So yeah, I'll have to set that paddock up so they can move later this afternoon. How's it going, pal? Hanging in there? Do you like an alfalfa cube? Have you eaten so much food you have no interest? Oh yeah, I knew you'd like this. Abby, don't yell at Kurt. He's just hanging out here. So now it's about an hour and a half after I moved them. Kurt seems really chill and relaxed. Seems pretty happy. Maybe he'll take one from my hand. Maybe he won't. I don't know. Want to take one? Go ahead. It's for you. 
Yeah, you can enjoy that. Yeah, good job, buddy. Yeah, he seems pretty relaxed and content here. The girls have settled down a lot. I moved them to some fresh pasture after I got Kurt settled in here and they seem much, much happier. I should have done that earlier. So now it's just gonna be a little bit before my buddy Donnie shows up and we will get him moved in. Donnie, who if you guys have probably seen in videos before, he was actually the guy who brought my cattle to the farm. He's an older, older farmer, lives on the other side of town. Really, really nice guy. Super, super knowledgeable about animals. Really, really helpful. Oh. I think Abby and Kurt are barking at each other as neighbors. <laughs> But yeah, Donnie's actually the one, he, he actually sold me my hay, or a lot of my hay this year, and he's also gonna be the one who takes Kurt to the butcher. Abby, come on. You guys are neighbors for a couple of hours. It's not gonna be long. But yeah, I think Kurt's doing pretty good. Hang in there, buddy. All right, I will cut him loose. Hey, Kels, come on, Kels. Hey, Kels, come on, Kels, come on. Brush grass, come on, Kurt. Hey, Kurt, come on. Come on, Kurt. Come on, Kurt. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kurt. Let's go, come on. Come on. Come on, Kurt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, Curdy. Good boy. It's okay. Take your time. It's okay. Hey, no. Come on. Good boy. Yep. Come on. Come on, boy. That's a good guy. Good job, good guy, good job, Kurt. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, it's okay. Up into the trailer. Come on, hit, in you go. There we go. All right, appreciate it, Don, thank you. I will admit that feels a little bit bittersweet. On one hand, I feel like that's an amazing sense of accomplishment. Everything went as absolutely smooth as it possibly could. Getting him down from the pasture, separating him from the herd, getting him into Don's trailer. I mean, golly, if every cattle move I ever have to do is as easy as that one is, it's, yeah, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. But on the other hand, oof, I am uh, a bit sad about it all and uh, I'm gonna miss him. I feel like I gave him a very good life, but it's a bitter, bitter, sweet feeling. Oh, yeah, thank you, sweetie.